every year, the night before my birthday, I like to take a moment before I go to sleep. Just think about the last year of my life. What's happened? What what can I remember? What was good? What was bad? What, what just was? What was the year like? And then try to get inspired for what's going to happen the next year. Next year of my life. So tonight's that night, and I thought that since I've just moved back to Seattle, and um, I haven't I haven't been around so much this year. Well, in the last in the last few months really, I've been not as active in making videos. I thought I would share my thought process with you all. So in the last year, the first thing that I think of is that last. Last year, for my birthday, that was my first birthday as Samantha. And I remember I came into work and I was looking extra pretty because I knew it was my day. And my co-worker surprised me with a little bit of afternoon champagne. And it was, it was really incredibly nice. And I remember it was like my first birthday. And since then... You know, I've done a lot of traveling, I've had a few different <laughs> intimate partners, more so than I sort of thought, or more, more than had been in years past. And I've been burned most of those times, burned by intimate partners. Um, you know, I got to got to spend Christmas with my friends and family in Seattle. I, I got to go to the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco and give a little presentation. Um, I got to, well, I got through the summer. I got through this some serious depression. Um, you know, I think that when I, I think that when I was here last, last Christmas, I think I knew that I wanted to move back here. Um, but I just needed to be sure. I just needed to give it a try. I needed to not give up. I needed to feel like I need. I needed to feel like it was the right choice. And I needed more time in Denmark to come to that conclusion. And uh, I survived the freezing ass cold February of Copenhagen. And I survived. I was just, I was so looking forward to the summer and like, oh, it's going to be bright again. Summer is my favorite season. It's going to be great. And when the summer came, I was even sadder than I had been in, in, in the cold of February. And that, that's how I knew something was wrong. I survived it. And, um, I've come out the other end. I, I made a lot of accomplishments at work. Um, I feel like I did everything I could do to make our project, our mission, as successful as we could. And, um, before, you know, I mean, I, I, I left my job in this last year. I left my job as I, as part of coming back to Seattle. But before I left, we accomplished, we, we, sh we finished our deadline, we hit our deadline, we shipped our product. And it's the biggest product that I've ever worked on. And in a lot of ways, I was really sad to go, but it just, it's just what needed to happen. So, I've been through a lot of ups and downs this year. I, I mean, to top it all off, I fell in love. I fell in love with an amazing woman, foreign, exotic beauty, smart, interesting, beautiful. And then I had to leave. 
I had to leave her right after I met her. The band. I made some incredible accomplishments with the band. We played our music to a standing ovation and and cheers for encore. And we couldn't play an encore because we didn't have a song prepared for an encore. And then I had to leave that. And I was just getting to the point where I could walk around Copenhagen on a Saturday afternoon. And almost every week I would run into somebody that I knew. And I chose to leave that. And it was really, really hard. Harder than I thought it would be. I've talked about this already and trying to think about just just waxing about the last year and the next year. You know, I'm turning twenty eight. I've turned twenty eight as of thirty minutes ago. And um and so, you know, my twenty seventh year was pretty good. It was pretty interesting. It was full of hills and valleys more dramatic than I've ever felt before in my life. And maybe that's because of estrogen, but I doubt it. I think it's because of something else. I think it's because life does this as you keep living it. It becomes less predictable. Simultaneously more and less predictable in some ways. Um... So what's going to happen this next year? What's going to happen for Samantha at age 28? Well, there's going to be some some soul searching for career. I've got to fight hard as hell to make it on my own as an independent creator, independent artist, independent designer, programmer, game developer. Or I've got to find a different sort of position in a company that that makes me happy. And I'm not sure how that'll go. I want to I want to make it work on my own. I want to work for myself, but working for yourself usually means spending a lot of money. The other thing I want to do when I'm 28 is I want to go in for surgery. I want to to get to get that taken care of. And that requires a lot of money. So having very little money and having surgery and not having any health coverage that doesn't really make for a successful combination. So you know, when I was 26, I had to learn how to fight for what I wanted. You know, I had to fight to get my to get started on on medically transitioning when I was twenty six. When I was twenty seven I was more able to sort of ride the hill, ride down the hill with the medical transition side of things. But I feel like now being twenty eight this year I'm gonna have to fight again. I'm gonna have to fight to figure out how to make it happen for myself because right now I don't have a clear path maybe I'll be lucky and maybe I'll get a donation or a grant or an affordable loan or sugar daddy (laughs) I don't think so but it's going to be it's going to be a good year So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And so will Toby. Say goodnight, Toby.